Excellent stuff. Perfect. A very good morning to everyone and thank you for joining us today. My name is Chris and I'm one of the creators here at Shortcuts. So as a lot of you will know, it's always great to have my regulars and a very warm welcome to all of my new um, attendees for today's masterclass. Now, a lot of you will know we run these masterclasses um, every week, every single month, just to really ensure we are getting the most and the maximum out of our Shortcuts system. So today we are going to be talking about Shortcuts cloud-based marketing and SMS setup and really utilizing your text messages and just having a little look at the text message platform itself in that little bit more detail. So as always, before we get into the fun stuff, there is a little bit of housekeeping um, and the duration of this webinar with the housekeeping, the duration of this webinar will be approximately 60 minutes. Now, sometimes I do go a little bit over, sometimes I'm a little bit under. I do try and keep it to that 60 minute mark because I appreciate this may be your day off and you may be joining me in between clients. My microphone is switched on, whereas everyone else has automatically been muted. And of course, your speakers must be turned on to hear this uh, webinar. So everyone just take a few minutes now just to make sure you can hear me, uh, got your headset switched on, everything like that. Now, as always, your questions will be taken uh, via the Q&A or the chat box. But for those of you that know me, I say make it interactive. If you do want to unmute yourself and have a chat with me, that is perfectly fine to do so. If not, I will always open the floor at the end for questions. So feel free to drop me a question throughout at the end. I'm hopeful I will cover most things that you want to cover today. If not, just let me know. And we can always have a little one-to-one -one session, just sort of cover that there. So as always, as we said, we always have this little bit of housekeeping. And now the majority of my masterclasses, we have a mixture of a PowerPoint slide presentation and a live presentation. For the time being in my last sort of five or six masterclasses, I have jumped straight into the fun stuff with the live demonstrations. And today is going to be exactly the same. Now, the reason we do this, most of us were creative people. I don't want you sat there watching slides on this Monday morning. I want you getting right into the fun stuff with me. I want you seeing the live demonstration. So without further ado, that is what we are going to do for this morning. We are going to jump straight into the live stuff and we are going to run through our shortcuts, cloud based marketing and our SMS function. But before we do, if you do want to chat further, feel free to drop me an email at education at shortcuts.co.uk or you can give me a call on 0161 972 and it's option four. Now, a lot of you will be sent our emails, but if you do want to sign up directly, you can do so through our website, shortcuts.co.uk forward slash online hyphen classes. Next week for August will be created in the next couple of days. And as always, do share, like, follow us on our social media pages, Instagram and Facebook.com forward slash shortcuts UK. Do keep an eye out on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. You will often see me advertising my up and coming classes as well as any top tips and my frequently asked questions. So do follow us on now. Do share, do like um, and do always bear in mind at Shortcuts, we do have a referral scheme. So, of course, if you know any other salon owners or managers that you feel would love Shortcuts just as much as you do. Remember, there is a referral scheme. So if you want to discuss that with me a little bit more please do so at the end. But of course, so for this morning's introduction, we are now going to move directly into setting up cloud-based marketing. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, ladies and gents, is open up my Shortcuts Fusion system. Okay, excellent stuff. So I've opened up my Shortcuts Fusion system. So we're gonna be talking about cloud-based marketing first and foremost. So, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to set up a discount reason. Now, why do we set up a discount reason? Well, we set up a discount reason. The main reason being is if you ever want to track your discount in cloud through our reports, it's best to have a discount reason to do so. Now, we could, of course, just deduct five pound for a birthday or deduct 10 pound for a birthday at the point of sales screen. That would work perfectly fine. But we've got no paper trail. We've got no way of knowing why that discount was given or, in fact, how well that discount is doing. So, for instance, we may decide to give a birthday discount and we give five pounds off to do so. 
If we assign it to that discount code, we've got a paper trail to see how many people are using that birthday discount. So the first thing we're gonna do for this morning is we're gonna create a discount code and that will pull through in our shortcuts cloud-based marketing. So to create a discount code, all we're gonna do is go to setup and then configuration on the right-hand side of our navigation bar. To the far left-hand side, we're going to choose the third option down that says discounts. And we're gonna create a new discount. We're gonna click the new icon towards the bottom right-hand corner. And we're gonna add that reason in there. And I'm just gonna call it Chris code, okay? Now this could be birthday, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, whatever you want it to be, that's the code we're gonna pop in there. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna click done. Now in the top right here where it says default, this is where we're going to assign the amount of discount. We can choose fixed amount if it's going to be a monetary value such as 10 pounds. Or if we want to use a percentage, we can hit the drop down arrow and choose from one of our default percentages. Now, if there's a percentage there that you wish to use, sorry, if there's a percentage there that isn't there that we wish to use, such as 29% or 30%, we can add our own in. We can do so by clicking add default in the top right hand corner. And we can type that percentage in there. Underneath, you can also see we've got these options just here. Discount can be applied to. Now, this really acts as a safety net to determine what the discount can be applied to. So if we only want it to be redeemed to services and series, we can untick this box and this box here. And that will just stop any mistakes at the point of sale screen for it be accidentally being taken off products or sundries or anything like that. Now to the bottom left hand corner, we have this option just here that says default amount cannot be changed at point of sale. We have said the default amount at the top here could be 30%. And if I tick this box here, default amount cannot be changed. That just stops anyone being a little bit sneaky at the point of sale screen and changing it from 30 to 50 to 60 to 90, whatever it may be. So in the bottom right, we're now just gonna click save and then we're gonna click done. Now, any changes we made may require us to give a quick restart to our shortcut system, but we should see in around five to 10 minutes time, that discount code, that Chris code, should appear in our cloud-based marketing. So from here, we can now open up our cloud-based marketing, which is done in Shortcuts Cloud. So I'm gonna to navigate to my Shortcuts Cloud appointment book. Okay, excellent stuff. So I've now opened up my Shortcuts Cloud appointment book. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, well, I've got quite a few staff members set up with the cloud and I'm a little bit concerned they may have access to this marketing feature we're about to run through. That's perfectly fine. We can adjust the permissions just to make sure if you've got other staff, other employees set up with the cloud and you're thinking, oh, I'm a little bit concerned they may also um, you know, be able to uh, edit and create marketing, we can check the permissions now. So to do so, you will be required to have the site manager role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click menu in the top left-hand corner. And we're gonna click menu just here. And then we're gonna go down to the bottom left and we're going to click onto business settings just here. We're also now going to click onto the roles icon just here. And on the left, you will see your two default role types. So the majority of you will probably have staff members assigned the employee role, and we can see these staff members just here. And then as we scroll down, we can see the permissions. So what I'm gonna do is click the red word permissions just here. And then as I scroll down, if I expand configuration, you can see we have an option, the second option down that says, I can configure messages. Now messages is configuring marketing. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, I've got quite a few staff members set up with the cloud. My staff members can track their appointments in the cloud on their phones, everything like that. But I don't want them to be able to access um, 
marketing. OK, so you can just configure this just here. So just make sure that is set to no. And then all we're going to do is just click done in the bottom right hand corner. So what we've done is we configured the permission for that particular role type to stop an employee role being able to configure messages. So just to reiterate, we've created a discount code in Shortcuts Fusion and we've nav navigated to the Cloud Appointment Book. And just to triple check, if we weren't aware what the Cloud Appointment Book URL was, this can be navigated to by pos.shortcutsoftware.com just to get into the cloud, pos.shortcutsoftware.com. OK, so we're now ready to take a look at our messages and our marketing. And there's a handy icon right at the top here that says messages. Now, just before we do that, we're going to take another little look at some background information. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to open up our online console. Now, I'm fairly confident as we look at this, everybody should already have this sort of configured, but it is always worth just triple checking. So when we are in the online console, Sorry. So when we are in the online console, what we're going to do on the bottom left hand corner is we're going to click into site settings just down here. And then we're just going to scroll all the way down and we are just going to just triple check and make sure we have got your website. We've got Facebook, Instagram and any social media links. So why are we double checking this in the online console? Now, the reason we double check this in the online console is these social media links will all pull through automatically to your email campaigns. So as long as we've got the website here, it will pull through. As long as we've got Facebook here, it will all pull through. So all we're just doing is just double checking in our online console that we've got those social media links updated. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're just going to double check the physical address phone number, everything like that. We're going to double check all of this information. Now, again, why are we doing this? Well, in your email marketing, you will notice we have something called personalized fields. Those personalized fields will pull through from here. Personalized fields bring the information through automatically. And you're going to see those in just a moment. And again, we're just going to scroll right down to the bottom. And we're just going to double check that logo has also been updated. And again, why do we update the logo in here? Well, again, in your email marketing, which we're going to take a look at in just a sec, the logo will pull through all automatically. So once we've double checked that information, we're just going to click save. And that's the only information we just needed to double check there. So in our online console, in console.shortcutsoftware.com, we clicked into site settings and we just double checked that site logo there. And then at the top of the screen, we just double checked the physical address and we also double checked our social media links as well. They all form the basis on our cloud based marketing and will pull through automatically. Excellent stuff. So we can now head back to our cloud appointment book, that pos.shortcutsoftware.com, and we can now open up our messages. We can now open up our marketing. So right at the top of the screen here, we're going to click on to messages and we have two types of campaigns. We have a one time marketing campaigns. And we have ongoing marketing campaigns. Ongoing campaigns will be continually sent out until we deactivate them, of course, once they have been activated. Ongoing campaigns, they all open up in pretty much exactly the same way. The only thing that changes is what we call the send schedule. The send schedule is what determines sending the campaign out. So as we can see, we've got a happy birthday, which will naturally be sent out by the client's birthday. So let's take a look at our ongoing campaigns. Now, a firm favorite and a very, very, very popular campaign of shortcuts users is appointment acknowledgement. So I'm going to click on to appointment acknowledgement here. And you will see we got the description just here. Ongoing message customers about their new or changed appointment. So an appointment acknowledgement is essentially a booking confirmation. 
not to be confused with confirmation text messages. We're going to go through those in about 20 minutes time. Your appointment acknowledgement, you can see down here, the send schedule can go 30 minutes or hours or days after an appointment is created or changed. So let's say, for example, I make an appointment today, but the actual appointment itself isn't for two weeks time. My appointment acknowledgement will go 30 minutes after my appointment is created, and that's appointments via the app, that's appointments via online booking, face-to-face, -face, over the phone. It will go 30 minutes after the appointment is created. Then in two weeks time, I will get my text message reminder. So we're basically covering you at both ends. Now you will also notice it says 30 minutes after the appointment is created or changed. So what does that mean? It's only if we change the start time. Now, some of you may be watching this and thinking, well, what about if I drag the appointment down? What about if I make it longer or shorter because they've got small amounts of hair or lots of hair? Please do not worry. That will not trigger the campaign to be sent. It's only if you change the start time of the appointment or if the client changes the start time of the appointment. OK, so what about them if I make the appointment at two o'clock? And then the client goes, oh, do you know what, Chris, actually do it at 2.15, move it to 2.15. And you go, actually, ah, oh, no, sorry, Chris, not 2.15, move it back to two o'clock. Is that client going to get three confirmations, appointment acknowledgements? Are they going to get the 2, the 2.15 or the 2 p.m.? Essentially, no. There is actually a three minute grace window to cater for these kind of changes. So if you do have a client that says make it at 2, oh, no, 2.15, oh, then back to 2. There's roughly three minutes for you to sort of make those clerical errors, shall we say. Then after that, it will be roughly 30 minutes before the appointment acknowledgement is sent. So underneath, you can see we've got email or SMS. It's up to you which um, platform you wish to send it out by. Just please be aware if you do send anything out by SMS, it will come out of your normally month, uh, normal monthly bundle. So let's take a look at email. So at the top here, we've got the header. Now the display logo, the logo will pull through from site settings of the online console. So let's just go back to this again in the online console under site settings. If we scroll all the way down, your logo will pull through from here automatically. Underneath, we have a display image. Now, a display image is an additional image to really add that little bit extra into your campaigns. This can be grabbed from Google as long as there's no copyright images or other free hosting platforms. Or, of course, you can take your own. So underneath, we've got the subject and you can see a lot of the hard work and the heavy lifting has been done for you. So the subject, Shortcuts Retreat Birmingham Booking Confirmation. Customer first name. Now, anything in these squiggly brackets is what we refer to as a personalized field, quite simply meaning it will bring that information through automatically. So if you wish to delete that out and you want to add it back in, please do not write customer first name. We're just going to use the insert field option just here. So we're going to click that drop down arrow. And we're going to go down to where it says customer first name. And that will bring the customer's first name through. Again, underneath, we've got the body. Hi, customer first name. Thanks for your booking at Shortcuts Retreat. We are located at New Street and can be contacted on. Your booking details are as follows, and that will bring through the service, the date and the time. But again, we do have additional personalized fields we can choose from the drop down arrow here. So, for instance, we've got the appointment price total if you want to add that in. The individual services, services and employees, appointment time, that's the start time, and appointment time finish. You can add all of that in to really make this campaign bespoke. We've got the offer box. Now, don't worry about that just for the time being. The reason we've not added an offer in. This is an appointment acknowledgement. This is a confirmation. OK, so we, of course, don't want to add an offer into this because the client has made the appointment based on the service being full price. 
underneath, we can also add the book now button in. Now, again, this is an appointment acknowledgement. The client has already made the appointment. So we do not need a book now button to be added in. So underneath, we've got a sign off. Now, this is just an additional box to put right down at the bottom, just to add basically a footer. So you can see I've added in, look forward to seeing you from business name and business phone number. So you can see a lot of the hard work has been done for you. So we can now right down the bottom of the screen, we can click onto preview and this will show us what this campaign will look like. Excellent stuff. So we've got our campaign appearing there. So we've got our logo at the top there. If we were to add an additional display image in, that would appear just here. We've also got the body of the email here. We've then got a little gap if we wanted to put an offer in. And we've got our social media links down the bottom, including our website. So we can see it's very quick. It's very easy to create a lovely looking campaign. Now, if you did wish to send yourself a test, you can do so just here by clicking on to send test. And please be aware if you do send yourself a test, there is a very, very good chance that you'll get a, a test campaign that says, Dear John, okay, for the customer first name and a random appointment date and time. That is literally just sort of proving to us that the personalized fields are working. And then you can activate by simply clicking the green activate button and you can deactivate it by now clicking the blue deactivate button. Now, if you did also wish to send this out via SMS, as we said, please be aware we'll, it will come out of your normal bundles. But right down the bottom, you can choose the SMS platform just here. Now, if it was me, I would always choose the send SMS option only when no email will be sent. Because I hear quite a lot of clients say to me, I've got a lot of phone numbers, Chris, but I don't have a lot of emails. So if you're sort of wanting to capture everybody, always choose the option only when no email will be sent. I wouldn't have the always on because a client will receive both a text message and an email. So only when no email will be sent. And always bear in mind your characters used in your text messages. And of course, please keep an eye on the messages used option just here as well. Now with this, there are no logos, there are no sort of offer boxes per se, you would just write them in, no extra, uh, extra additional images. This is purely a text message. And again, we can activate it by clicking the green activate button just here. Now when we're happy, we just click done in the bottom right hand corner. So that was our appointment acknowledgement, but another firm favorite of our ongoing campaigns is happy birthday because of course all of our clients will have a birthday. Now again, when we click into happy birthday on the right hand side, you can see the description, message customers on their birthday. This message will be sent at 10 a.m. each client to, each day to all clients who are having a birthday. And you can adjust the gender here if applicable. Now we can adjust that send time if we need to, but just to let you know, ladies and gents, it can go on the hour, or half past the hour. So for example, it could be 10, 10.30, 11, 11.30 and so forth. If you do accidentally put something along the lines of 10.15, please do not worry, you'll notice it automatically changes it to the nearest increment, i.e. being 10.30. Underneath, I'm gonna expand email. And again, I'm gonna scroll down and we've got that display logo, which of course, again, will pull through from site settings of the online console. Now, I've also uploaded an additional display image for my happy birthday campaign. I wanted to add a, an additional image to make it look a little bit more polished. Now, I think I just uploaded a nice cake and candles or balloons, something like that. But again, the layout is exactly the same, nice and easy. We've got the subject, happy birthday, customer first name. Now, as a handy top tip to stop your client's inbox filtering it potentially into spam, it is always a good idea to not have too many exclamation marks and, and things like that and loads of unnecessary random capitals and emojis. Now that is often used by phishing, okay? Not F-I-P-H for phishing, okay? Often used by scammers when they try and fish information. 
So it's always a handy top tip. Don't put too many exclamation marks or anything like that in there. Please do not put emojis and always keep an eye on the spelling as well. Now, I understand that may be difficult, um, you know, if you're a little bit concerned about putting the spelling in there. Just type it into Google. Um, spell check should come up. The reason I say this is, again, a lot of the times incorrect spellings or grammatical errors can throw it into um, into the into that client's spam jump box. So just a handy top tip. I appreciate, you know, you might think, OK, well, you know, like me, spelling's not my 100 um, percent sort of forte, but just pop that into Microsoft Word or pop it into Google. Just double check the spelling. Um, handy top tip there often happens when I do it, throws it into the spam. You go back and you double check it and you think, oh, yeah, I've got a couple of spelling in there. Again, it's often used by scammers with incorrect spelling. So just keep an eye on that there. Then we've also got the body of the email. Again, from all of us here at Shortcuts Retreat, we wish you a very happy birthday. To help you celebrate, we thought we would send you a special little birthday present about to use at your next appointment. Now you'll notice the offer box has now been expanded, but you can remove it by clicking the cross in the top right. And you can bring it back by clicking a plus sign in the top right. So at the top here, we always add in that offer text. OK, this will appear on the campaign. Underneath, we will always choose the discount code. Now, of course, why do we add a discount code in? It's so we can track it on our reports, on our return on investment. We can see just how well this campaign is doing for us. And we're going to take a look at the return on investment report at the end of the session. So we choose our discount code from here. So where do these discount codes pull through from? Now, you may remember right at the beginning in our Fusion system, under Setup, Configuration and Discounts, we added in a discount code. And you may remember the one I created was just called Chris Code. We assign those two together there so we can track on our return on investment. We then use that code at the point of sale screen. So I'm just going to use my email birthday 20%. But if you watch this back um, on the video, you'll see I created a code called Chris Code. But I'm just going to assign it to my email birthday. Please ensure you pop your terms and conditions in here. Then underneath, we've also got a book now button. So where does the book now link come from? Where does the online booking link come from? Well, the great news is, ladies and gents, we've done it all for you. You do not need to add in any links here whatsoever. The book now button is automatically here. But if you do cross it down for whatever reason, you can bring it straight back. And it's as simple and as quick as that. No links required. It will bring that book now button automatically through for you. And again, underneath, we've got the business sign off. So again, let's take a look at our preview. Give it a couple of seconds to load up. And there it is just there. You can now see we've got our logo. We've got that additional display image. We've now also got the body of the email, our offer box just here, the book now button, the sign off, and once again, our social media links. And of course, we can also activate in the bottom right hand corner. Perfect. So that's our second ongoing campaign. Now, what I am just going to take a very quick look at is our referral. Thank you. So referral works by if we've got client A, e.g. me. If I refer a client to the business, e.g. client B, when client B comes in for their appointment and checks out for their appointment, client A, e.g. me, will be sent a referral thank you. And again, you will notice the campaign is very much similar to all the other campaigns. We've got the body of the email. We've got the offer. But of course, you may be watching this and thinking, well, how can we input client B? So when client A comes in, e.g. Chris, when, when Chris comes in and then refers a client to you and then that client comes in, how can we put on our shortcut system that Chris referred this brand new client, that client A referred client B? How can we do this? Well, as a handy top tip in your Fusion system, it is always worth looking at your referral options. And we're going to just digress just very, very quickly back to our Fusion system stuff. So in our Fusion system, what I would recommend everyone do is go to Setup, 
and configuration. And in the bottom left, we're going to click general. And we're going to click clients just here. Now, the third option along the top just here says referrals. Now, you'll notice the very first referral option is another client. These are our referral options. So you may notice when a client fills their card out, whether over the phone, face to face or using online CICs, there are options for referrals. OK, and these are the referral options. Now, you can add new ones in if you wish to. But the one we're most interested in for today's marketing is another client. So how can I ensure that this another client referral option appears when a client is making an appointment? So the fourth option along the top says new client layout. And you'll notice we've got this column just here that says quick. OK, the quick column is when a client makes an appointment. As soon as we click that new client icon, we get the first name, the last name or the quick information. I would very much recommend everybody have this option here. Referral method ticked. So what would that mean? So in our quick column, when we make an appointment for a new client, the referral method will now appear. And of course, what are those referral methods? Those referral methods are the third tab at the top we literally just looked at. It will then pull through all of these referral methods in our quick column. So we can now click done. We may just have to give a quick restart to our shortcut system. But now when we make an appointment for a new client and we click that new client icon at the top, we will now get the referral method option here. We will now have another client, which of course means we can click onto that and we can choose the relevant client. That will then tell us that the referral method, so client A, Chris, was referred by client B, Hannah Smith. When Hannah comes into the appointment, oh, sorry, when Chris comes in for the appointment, he will then receive his referral campaign, which is this one just down here. So it's always worth just making sure, giving yourself the best possible chance. Just everybody just watch the video back if you need to. If you've done it alongside me, not a problem there. Just make sure you've got those referral methods appearing. Because, of course, if you want this referral campaign to work, there's a much better chance of it working more accurately if you've got the referral methods appearing. If not, not a problem. You can always go into the client's profile click info and you can adjust it just here. If you don't have it set up on your quick column, you can adjust it just here as well if you need to. Excellent stuff. OK, so let's just go back to just where we were. So that's our referral. Perfect. So let's just go back to our messages. There we go. Excellent stuff. So that was our referral. So there's lots of different campaigns we can take a look at that. So I'm not going to go through all of the ongoing campaigns because I feel confident everyone should be perfectly fine doing those. What I am going to take a look at now are my one time marketing campaigns. OK, these are what we call blast campaigns. These are campaigns that will purely be sent out the once. So think of this as a little bit more seasonal. So, for example, we're going to take a look at message all clients. Now, message all clients will go to all clients in your database that are opted in for marketing communications. So if you wish to create a brand new campaign, all we do is we click the new icon down the bottom. Now, for example, you will notice I have created a message all clients campaign called Let's Get Salon Happy. And you'll notice I've put the word app in capitals. Because what am I doing here? I am advertising my salon mobile guest app. For those of you on the Elevate and Elevate Plus package, you may wish to, uh, uh, to advertise your salon mobile guest app. For those of you that have got online booking, you may wish to advertise your online booking platform. Or, of course, you may wish to just advertise a brand new product um, or anything in particular. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, whatever you see applicable. And again, if we expand email, we can scroll down. We've got the display logo. We've got the display image. 
Now, again, we've just got the subject there. Have you downloaded our Shortcuts mobile guest app yet? And of course, we've got the body and everything like that. Now, for this one in particular, now I know a lot of you watching are using the mobile guest app. So there is a reason why I've done this one in particular. I'm, of course, advertising the mobile guest app. If you would like me to send you the template for this, please drop me a message at the end. So, for example, I've got the body there. We're really excited about our brand new mobile guest app. Um, so that you can have that body there if you wish to. But you'll also notice I've created a display image. So what does that display image show us? OK, so what I've created is a specific display image with the QR codes to download the My Salon app. If anybody at the end would like that display image to upload, please let me know. More than happy to send you that. But that's purely just a display image I created myself before we got started. OK, so you can scan either QR codes and it will take you to the app or the Play Store. And as we can see, we've got the body. Um, I've just added the check in now button. I didn't actually mean to add that in, um, but you've got the check in now button, the book now button if applicable. Um, and of course, your social media links, everything exactly the same as before. So that is our message all clients that will go to all clients in your database. So what about then? if we wanted to target specific clients, so we didn't want our campaign to go to all clients. What we've got is targeted campaign. So we can click onto targeted campaign and this will target specific clients, okay? This is a way to filter your clientele down. And there are a couple of ways we can do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click new down the bottom. You can change the campaign if, if applicable. This is all for your benefit. You can change the send time. You can change the send date. So maybe you're doing a Christmas one. Maybe you're doing a Father's Day one and you're being nice and proactive about it. So how do we then target our clients down? Well, underneath we've got our recipients. The first way is a use imported customer list. And the second way is appointments within a date range. So, for example, you may have a client's booked in next week, but there are going to be a lot of roadworks, meaning there's going to be no on street or on site parking. So we could have used message all clients, but of course, clients that aren't booked in or clients booked in in six weeks time, whatever it may be, you know, not really necessary to them. But what about the clients booked in next week? We could do appointments within a date range. And that will send all of the clients booked in in the next week or the next four or five days. This particular campaign, just advertising, there's going to be, you know, going to be roadworks, it's going to be busy, anything like that. Now, unfortunately, well, I'll say hopefully this will never happen to some of you or all of you. Hopefully this will never happen to any of you. But we did have a salon not so long ago that unfortunately had a bit of a flood. OK, and because of that, they had to close. Now, when they were closed, naturally, they weren't able to contact their clients to say, you know, we're not going to be able to open. So what they used was the appointments within a date range and they set the date range of, let's say, last week. So I had a flood last week and I wasn't able to service those clients. I could set my appointments within a date range for last week. And I could then include any no show cancelled or deleted appointments. And that is a great way to then prioritize those customers that we weren't able to service. We also did this, for example, quite a lot when we came out of lockdown. So that is a great way to just target your clients within an appointment date range. OK, so a fantastic way then to target your clients is to use an imported customer list. So where does this list come from? So we're going to export it from Fusion. Fusion is the name of your main shortcut system. So we're now going to target our clients from shortcuts. So I'm going to open up my shortcuts Fusion system. And on the right hand side, I'm going to go to tools. And I'm going to go down to my third option, marketing. And I'm now going to filter my clientele down. And there's no sort of one size fits all with this. Have a play around. OK, so, for example, in the bottom left, you will notice we have all clients. OK, 
Now, we've already got a message all clients, which we looked at in cloud. So we're going to filter this down. So for example, we can click onto clients. We can choose the town. We can choose the birth month, the age or the gender. But a firm favorite of mine is to choose preferred employee. Now, you may or may not be aware, but if a client sees one of your employees three or more times in a row, they are automatically defaulted to, the, to their preferred employee. So, of course, why do we do this? Well, it may be one of your staff members goes on maternity leave. It may be they have a price increase, you know, or, or, or something like that. And you want to let all of, shall we say, air quote, all of their clients know that they are going to have a price increase. So that's a great way to do that. Now, you can also do for those of you using clubs or programs, you can also use your club or your program. So, for instance, I've got a, a club set up called Key Workers. Maybe you just want to, again, advertise that to your key workers. You can also do it via new clients or clients who refer. You'll notice these two in particular were created already in the cloud. Now, we also have non-returning clients. OK, now, again, in the cloud, by default, there is one already created for you at the top here. There is already one created, but you may just wish to create your own. OK, the one in Shortcuts Cloud by default is set to clients that haven't returned within 16 weeks. OK, that's the send schedule for that. But you might want to create your own non-returning clients, ones that haven't returned for 18 weeks or 20 weeks or whatever it may be. OK, so what we would need to do for this is we would need to click to activate a date range. So, for example, if I wanted to find clients that hadn't returned for, let's say, 18 weeks, what I would do is count back 18 weeks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've counted back 18 weeks. OK, that gives me my non returning date range. So I can now click onto this here. And I would then count back roughly two or three months. OK, so I'm going to go back to let's just say January. OK, now the reason I do that. That gives me a date range of January to March, which is roughly two or three months. And that will be clients that haven't returned since this last date here. That last date from that date to today's date is 18 weeks. So we can see that there. All clients that visited between January and March and have not returned since. OK. That just gives me that 18 week non return in 18 weeks from today. Uh, backwards is the 27th of March. OK, so that's just a top tip for your non returning customers. But we can then delete that out if applicable. And just very quickly, you can also do service frequency less than or greater than or service monetary value greater than or less than and same for products. So what about then essentially transactional marketing? So is there then a way to target our clients based on services they have or haven't had done or maybe products they've purchased or not purchased? And this is a fantastic way to organically upsell and on the flip side, give a much better personalized service so we can target clients on products they've purchased. And we can see on the left hand side, we've got companies, lines and products. So, for example, with our products purchased, we can click onto companies and you can see we've got American Crew. That would give me a list of clients that have purchased American Crew products. But maybe I want to advertise another company that I've just taken on that would befit clients that have purchased American Crew. So I can find my clients that have purchased American Crew here, but have never purchased, let's say, Paul Mitchell. So I've just taken my Paul Mitchell range on and I'm saying anybody that's purchased any American Crew product would also benefit from purchasing my Paul Mitchell. Let's just delete that out and then we can do my lines of products. So products purchased, I can say you've always purchased 
my Elemis Advanced Skincare, and that's any Elemis Advanced Skincare, but we've never purchased your Elemis Aromatherapy. So again, we can say, you know, dear client, we notice you've always purchased a product from this range, but we've now taken on this range here, and we feel this range would benefit you as well. And we can also do it for our specific products purchased. So again, we can say you have always purchased. Let's have a look. What have we got? We can say you have always purchased the uh, extra body shampoo. But you have never purchased. The extra body conditioner, so it's a great way to increase that personalized service because that would then find us a list of clients that have always purchased the extra body shampoo but have never purchased that extra body conditioner and then we can then advertise to that client saying look you've always bought the shampoo but we also feel the conditioner would also benefit your hair care routine as well and we can do exactly the same for our services so to the right hand side we can be nice and general and we can start with our service categories. So we could say you have always had a coloring service and that'll be any coloring service, root tint, half of the highlights, three quarter head, but you've never had a styling service. So you could then create a lovely bespoke campaign saying, look, dear client, you always visit us for a coloring service, but did you know we have a fantastic array of stylists um, and hairdressers that would love to finish your hair to perfection as well. So again, it's a fantastic way to upsell organically, but we are offering a better service when we do so. Now that was being quite generic, but we can also be very specific. So again, I can choose my services icon just here, and we can click onto services, and we can say, you've always had a half head of foils, but you've never had a full head of foils. And you can cross between the two. So maybe you're a hair and beauty salon. You could say something like you've always had hair, but you've never had beauty, okay? So it's worth playing around with it. See what works best for you. Now, my sort of firm favor is to sort of cross between generic service categories. So I like to choose my coloring. But then down the bottom for services not done, I go to my specific services just here. And I say, you've never had, for example, I don't know, like a, an Olaplex treatment or something like that. Now, I don't think we have any Olaplex treatments on here, unfortunately. Uh, but let's just pretend, let's just pretend this is a, a blow dry. We'll choose a blow dry. So we'll say you've always had any coloring service, but you've never had a blow dry, for example. Now, whichever way around you play around with this, whenever you've got your clients, whenever you've sort of filtered your clientele down, it's always worth clicking compute down the bottom. This will show you all of those clients. Now, it will also let you know if any of those clients have opted out for GDPR. Now, we can see here we have 18 clients, OK, that fall into my net. We've got 18 clients here that have had a color service but have never had a blow dry. Now, on the right hand side, you can always exclude your customers out. So, for example, if you're going to send this out via email, you may wish to exclude the clients with no email. And you'll see that has adjusted my clients. Now, if you're going to send this out via text message, please, please, please ensure you exclude clients with no mobile. Now, of course, if you do send a text message to a client with no mobile, it will bounce back but you will still be charged. Now also, please also tick this box to opt out your clients, okay? To remove the clients that have opted out of marketing. Now you can see on my test system, we've opted everyone out of marketing, okay? But please ensure you do this yourself. Opt out any clients that have opted out of marketing. They will not be sent to any way, but as you can see, it will throw your results figure out. Now, once you have got your clients, we need to save this list of clients. Now, always remember, please opt out your clients. I'm just doing this on a test system. These are not real clients. OK, 
So once you've got your list of clients, we need to save the list of clients, okay? So we're gonna click save just here. And you can rename the list if you wish to, it is for your benefit, but please ensure you click browse. And make sure you choose a location to save it to, okay? Now I'm gonna save this to my desktop, but you can save it wherever you like to, but it's always worth saving it somewhere where you'll be able to find it later on. So we're just gonna click save in our desktop and it will save our list of customers, okay? So now we've got that list of targeted customers, we can go back to our targeted campaign. We can click on to choose file and we can upload accordingly. So I added mine to my desktop and you would just upload it accordingly just there. We can see 31st of July, 2023. And that is how we can send out a targeted campaign. From here, you would create the email, the text message, exactly the same. Now, I would always recommend, ladies and gents, create the list of customers first before you spend ages making a beautiful campaign, just in case your list of customers isn't that many. So it's always worth creating the list of customers first. So that is our ongoing and our one-off campaigns. Now, in particular, I'm going to show you something that we can do in our cloud, which will lead us beautifully onto our text messaging. So within the cloud, if we go on to appointments, you will notice I have my client just here. Now, what about, for example, if Chris, my stylist here, is off sick, or if we just wanted to send a specific text message to that client? Maybe I'm off sick and we just want to let those one client for today know that I'm off sick without having to call me. Well, what we can do is in the cloud, you will all have something called ad hoc text messages through the cloud. This will enable you to click onto the appointment and in the touch tip window for my client, you will be able to click onto the three dots. You will then be able to choose the fifth option down that says SMS customer. Now from here, you can create your own bespoke text message to send to this customer just here. However, you will notice above this, we have some templates that I've created. One says, please come to the front desk. And one says, we are running a little bit late. So sorry, Peter, we are running a few minutes late. We'll let you know when we're ready to see you. Those are bespoke templates that I've created. You can see it pulls all the information through for you. And all I would need to do is click send in the bottom right hand corner. So as we lead beautifully onto our SMSs, how can we create our own text message campaign that can be used through these ad hoc text messages? So if you want to create your own template, just like I've got here, in the top left in our cloud, we can click onto menu. We can then go down to communication and we can choose SMS templates. Down the bottom, we can click onto new and then we can call this um, stylist off sick, for example. And then underneath in the body, we can say, sorry, space, insert personalized field. We can use the customer first name. Your stylist is off sick today, okay? And then you can then create that bespoke template that will pull through automatically into your ad hoc text messages through the cloud. So it's a great way if you don't have time to call them or if you just want them to call you to rearrange whatever it may be, you can create your own template just there using ad hoc text messages through the cloud appointment book. So what about then text messages with the last sort of five minutes to go? What about then our text messages in Shortcuts Fusion? So what we can do is first and foremost, let's take a look at which of our staff members are able to send out text messages. Now you may be watching this and thinking, okay, well, I've got actually, Chris, I've got a few self-employed staff and I don't particularly want them to send out text messages to their clients because um, it eats into my bundle, they're self-employed. You can do so, that's not a problem. On the right-hand side of our navigation bar, we would go to setup. 
and we would go to employees. Now you'll notice if we go to a particular employee, we've got this option towards the bottom right hand corner that says send appointment communication to clients. That means can that client send out an email? Can that uh, employee send out a text message to their clients? OK, text message reminders, anything like that. Send appointment communications to clients. Now you'll notice Chris doesn't have this ticked. This is because he is self-employed and we don't want him eating into our bundle. So I've unticked this just here. And you're going to see where that pulls through to in just a moment. So a lot of you watching will have text message reminders set up. These typically go out one or two days before. But how can we adjust the text message that they receive? How do we know what it looks like? Now, again, we can go to setup and configuration. And in the bottom left hand corner, we can click on to general. And from here, we can click on to confirmation. Now, in the center here, we can click onto the message. And this will show you what the text message will look like. First thing to please bear in mind, there is a maximum of 160 characters allowed. Please bear this in mind if you're using um, personalized fields. So you'll notice I've left 13 characters. So we've got high client name. That will be both their first and their last name. We've got the business name, confirming appointment at appointment time and the appointment date. Reply, confirm response. So what is the confirm response? The confirm response can be adjusted just here. So reply yes to confirm. Reply no to cancel or phone the business phone. Now, again, you'll notice anything in these brackets is what we refer to as a personalized field. So that will pull through the client's first name, the business name, the appointment date, the appointment time and the phone number, everything like that. But how can we check that? OK, so how can we double check that the business name is being spelt correctly? How can we double check that the phone number is correct? Well, you're going to see that in just a sec. So we've double checked the message and I'm happy with the text message that the client receives. But when will they receive it and what time will they receive it? Well, this can be configured using this configure icon just here off the pop up window. So we're going to click on to configure. And you can see my text messages will automatically go out 10 a.m. one business day in advance. Now I could change that to two business days in advance if necessary. So for example, if we are um, closed Sunday and Monday, our last business day would be Saturday. So that would mean Tuesdays uh, text messages would go out on Saturday. That is two business days in advance. Minimum business days in advance basically means there's one day in between the appointment and the text message being sent out. So, for example, if I was to make an appointment for this afternoon, I wouldn't receive a confirmation text message because there's not a minimum of one business day in between. Now, underneath, you can also see you've got the reply polling. If it was me, I would recommend we have begin polling for first replies on first contact. And we can keep this around the 30 or 25 minute mark. So what does that mean? That means the system will re will check for replies every 25 minutes. If it's currently set to let me manually poll, that will mean you will have to manually check for replies um, from your clients, which I will show you in just a sec. So once we're happy with our setup, we're just going to very, very quickly check those personalized fields, such as our phone number and our business information. And we can do this from setup and configuration general in the bottom left. Click on to business and we can double check the phone number, everything like that there. So you will notice my phone field was empty. So when my text message goes out and it pulls through my personalized field, it would have currently been empty. So it's always worth just double checking that phone number now because that will pull through to your text message just here. So just double check that information just there. OK, so our text messages we've seen will go out 10 a.m. two business days in advance. OK, so 
How can we then check for replies? Well, the majority of us will know that when a client responds and confirms the appointment will go this light green color. You can also manually turn the appointment light green by right clicking and clicking confirm or tapping onto the appointment and also confirming the appointment this way. Doing this will then prevent a text message going out. So for example, if Paul was to ring up and say, just to let you know, I'm confirming my appointment for Monday the 31st of July, we can right click or tap onto the appointment and confirm it just here. That will then save a text message going out because of course they've already manually confirmed. But how can we then check for replies? So in the bottom right hand corner, we have a menu icon. When we click onto menu, the first option is confirmation status. This will show you all of your text messages and your confirmation status for today, Monday the 31st of July. You will notice at the top, Beth has confirmed and we can see that light green color just there and we can see the status to the top right hand corner. The status will also say things like no reply um, or check message or cancelled, okay, things like that. We can also see how this particular customer confirmed the appointment and we can see it was replied via appointment book. That means I manually confirmed the appointment. This will stop a text message going out to this customer, it will stop one being wasted. Now down the bottom, you will also notice we have uh, some arrow keys. This enables us to flick between the pages if you want to send out your text messages or check for any replies. In the bottom left-hand corner, you will also see we have show me. We can see the clients that are non-contactable. That might be because they've opted out. It may be because they don't have a mobile number in the mobile field of the client's profile. We can also see anyone's to be contacted. That, that would mean they're, they are contactable, but have not been contacted. We can also filter the clients that have no replies, the ones that have confirmed and the ones that have canceled. So what about then if we wanted to send out our text messages manually? So we decided not to send them out automatically two or one or three business days in advance. We want to send them out manually. Well, there is a contact button just here. It's a little bit hard to see because it is shaded out on my test system, but it's just here that says contact. That will allow you to manually send out the text messages. Now you'll not have to do them one by one or anything like that. It will simply send it to all customers sort of automatically as soon as we click that contact button. It will go to everybody that is contactable. Now, as we said, I changed my replies to be every 25 minutes, but it was previously set to be manual, which means I would have to manually check for a reply, which of course would be quite time consuming. But if you want to manually check for a reply, you can click the replies icon just down here. Now, again, it is shaded out of my test system, but you will be able to do so just here. Now, regardless of whether you've got your replies to be automatic or manual, you can still manually check for replies. So maybe you've come in in the morning and you just want to check if there are any replies, you can do so there. Now, again, like we did in the cloud-based appointment book, you can also manually send out a text message. It is much quicker to do it through your cloud-based appointment book by tapping onto the appointment and selecting SMS customer. But you can also send out a bespoke direct text message by using the SMS icon just here. Now, again, I apologize, it's gray shaded out, but we can click it on here. You can then input the client's mobile number. A box will appear. You can input the client's mobile number and you can type them a direct text message just there as well. Now, as we look at my confirmation screen here in particular, and I often get asked this, this particular client here says don't contact. So why does it then say don't contact? Now there's a couple of reasons why it may say don't contact. It could be the client has opted out of communications in the client's profile, which I will show you how that is set up in just a sec. But it may also be that the employee they're booked in with doesn't allow to send appointment communications. So for example, Paul is booked in with Chris. Now you may remember under the employee profile, I said for Chris, he was not allowed to send appointment communications to clients. So if you are noticing in your communications window, in your confirmations window, 
for some clients it says don't contact just triple check it here it may be that this particular employee does not allow send appointment communications to clients so it's always worth just ticking this box just here and that will then allow that uh, employee to send to clients now it may also be that the client has opted out of confirmations we can check this and we must respect this decision by going into the client's profile and we can view them just here the second option down is confirmations now if we've got their consent we can adjust that accordingly now last but not least you can also send out a particular message to all of a column you can do so by tapping on the column at the top here and clicking sms clients that will send a text message to all of chris's clients here okay and you can do sort of a mass global way of doing that there and that ladies and gents is our marketing and sms confirmations thank you ever so much for watching if you do have any questions please feel free to drop those across now just very quickly i know i overran i'm just going to very quickly just backtrack um, and just go back to my return on investment report for marketing because i know i overran i wanted to um I wanted to get those text messages in there but as we said if we go back to our marketing we said if we ever assign a discount code the reason we do so is so we can track our return on investment and we can do this in the cloud by clicking menu reports and choosing the campaign summary option just here this will show you how many campaigns were sent how many um were uh, sent how many were delivered how many were opened how many were bounced back now i don't have any um any on my uh, test system but it's always worth just double checking that campaign summary report it will essentially tell you how well that campaign is working for you excellent stuff i just wanted to squeeze it in there i know some of you have got to shoot off i appreciate that we are recording it but um, i know some of you had to shoot off um so thank you ever so much ladies and gents i apologize i went a little bit over i tried to squeeze as much in there as humanly possible but as always, thank you ever so much for watching. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop those across to me now. Excellent stuff, thank you. That's great, thank you very much. Perfect, excellent stuff. So as always, um, just please drop us a message on Facebook or Instagram if you want to chat further or you can email me education at shortcuts.co.uk if you do want to chat further as well. Always make sure you're following us on our social media pages for all of our top tips, upcoming webinars, masterclasses, everything like that. And of course, we will be um, uploading those in the next coming days. We've got lots of brand new masterclasses coming up to have you all on board. It's always a pleasure having you on board. So please do stay tuned for those as well. Lots of brand new masterclasses, lots of top tips. So, and as we said right at the beginning, if you know any salon owners, managers, directors that you feel would love shortcuts just as much as you do, please remember we do offer a shortcuts referral scheme. If you do want to chat with me about that, um, please do let me know. Perfect, excellent stuff. So I think that's it for all of the questions this morning. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hopefully you'll be able to join me next week where we run through some brand new masterclasses. Also as well, I meant to say, we have a brand new masterclass called Increase Salon Revenue, where I'm gonna be going through some of my top tips, utilizing your shortcut system to maximize revenue within the salon. So please do stay tuned for that. Do keep an eye on our socials and our website and our marketing emails. Um, thank you ever so much. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. All that's left for me to say is enjoy the rest of your day and I, I, I shall speak to you all again soon. Thank you ever so much. Bye bye for now.